Hi, I'm Jay with Classic Kitchen, etc. And welcome to our latest kitchen remodel. Let me show you around. Let's start with this uh, range side of the kitchen. We have a 30 inch range with a 30 inch hood. Again, you know me, I like to leave the gaps here between the cabinets and the, this is a called a chimney style hood. And I like that so that the tile, you can kind of see the tile go around it. It kind of leaves some space. It just kind of doesn't feel so claustrophobic. So the main overall design of this kitchen is very eclectic. We have a, a nice, soft, warm tone, wood looking waterproof laminate on the floor. Now waterproof laminates are very popular. Um, they're less expensive than tile and real wood. They're obviously waterproof. Not the best for direct sunlight. If you have direct sunlight exposure for a long time on it, it can damage it. So we wanna be careful about that. But in most situations, it's a really great product. So we have Base cabinets are a navy blue. Then we went with a, uh, a white countertop that looks like marble. This one's called uh, Vittoria White from Arizona Tile. And then we have a eight by eight. This is kind of to mimic that old, uh, that old school kind of clay fired tile. Now this is porcelain tile. You know, this is a lot stronger product. It's gonna last a lot longer. Now, obviously on a backsplash, you don't need to go so strong of a material, but you know, overkill is never bad. And this is now the way they make it because it's also made for floors. So you could do this on a backsplash, you could do this in a shower, you could do it on a floor. It's a porcelain tile, so very durable stuff. We took that all the way to the ceiling. And then we have white uppers. And then even another design feature is we put uh, routed out for glass doors. And then we did reeded glass. You know, you kind of get a peek at what's inside of it, but not, you can't see directly through. And you can see she's got it all organized really cool. So it just, it looks really, really awesome. We actually had a larger slider in this area. Uh, so we actually framed in this wall smaller and made the slider door a little bit smaller. That way we could put this wall of cabinets on here. This is a mill guard slider. I really like these sliders. They have this, uh, this door handle. This is lock and then this is open. The sliding mechanism is very nice. Uh, as you can see, it, it, it travels very easily. And then that's uh, push, uh, you pull, push it in to lock it. So I really like these uh, sliders from mill guard. This is their um, Tuscany series. So as this is an L-shaped kitchen, we have the, the range on this side and we have the sink on this side. Uh, we actually reframed this window in to be a different size, gave the, the countertop a little bit of a splash. But the window was all the way to the counter. This is also a, uh, a mill guard. Um, again, I like the, the sliding mechanism. I like the locking mechanisms on these mill guards. They're nice windows. And then we tiled inside the window with this cool little trim piece here as the trim, because this material, like I said, is made for accent walls and floors. So it doesn't have any trim pieces like bullnose or quarter rounds or pencils or anything like that. So we made up our own with a Schluter, which is basically a uh, little metal molding uh, used in commercial applications, but works really good in residential applications too. That's how we trimmed it out. And so then you have this nice little pot shelf here now because she likes to grow little plants. And so she can just stack them right on top of here and uh, doesn't have to worry about uh, water damaging the drywall. Or if you did a wood casing, you know, around the inside of the window. She's got a really nice uh, faucet here that she provided. Now this is a, the Kohler Whitehaven sinks. I really like these because they have this um, feature on the, on the edges here where it hides the cut of the wood. Very nice feature. Has like a little flange built into the, to the sink. So you know, when you make your cut, you can just, the flange covers the cut. Very well engineered by Kohler. And uh, it's got an offset drain, so the drain's in the corner. went with the push button uh, disposal. Now these are air actuated, so you know, you could get water right on them and it's not gonna short anything out because it's an air, it's an air switch uh, that then is hooked to electrical. So very safe too. Uh, also we did a, uh, this is a Lazy Susan, you know I love Lazy Susans and she's so organized, this, this gal. <laughs> Looks beautiful. And uh, so this is a Super Susan actually, not a Lazy Susan. So as you've probably heard me mention a million times, the Lazy Susans have the pole, and the Super Susans don't do not have the pole. They have the wood shelves, uh, better sliding mechan or better um, bear ball bearing mechanism that that turns uh, the shelving units. So um, main thing is just with these doors, you got to close the one door, close the other door. Very important so you don't chip the cabinets. And one other cool thing is we rounded the corners of the inside corner of this, so you know it's not just a hard sharp corner. I kind of like that roundedness to it. 
So this is that, uh, that added space that we gained by uh, closing off this part of the wall, is uh, we gained this wall to put cabinets on, which is, is handy for a smaller kitchen like this to have that extra space. Uh, we have a pantry here in the corner with rollouts, again, very organized. And then we have this uh, 24 inch deep cabinet above the fridge. Now these are nice, you know, cause your normal cabinet is a 12 inch deep cabinet uh, over the fridges. So this is nice to have them now out to 24. A lot easier to get stuff and put stuff in there. It's not basically dead space. We did three bank of drawers here and then a built in microwave here. Now, uh, something to think about is I'm six foot two. So, you know, it's perfect for me, um, but for, uh, for people that aren't as tall as me, it, it might be better to, to do like a drawer microwave, or maybe even there is an option to have the microwave built into a pantry, uh, and that brings the microwave down several inches. And also, because of the microwave cabinet is a 22 inch deep cabinet, it does eliminate some of the space that you would have right here. Like if you have a coffee maker, you can't open the lid because, you know, it's, there's no way to pull, the, pull it out and open the lid because this is almost to the face of the cabinets. So again, something to think about when you're doing your design. And if I'm doing your design, you don't have to worry about it because I'll take care of that for you. Let me show you some of the uh, bells and whistles we put into this kitchen. So this is a cook sheet cabinet. You can see here, got some uprights in there and it makes it all nice and organized. Another cool detail is we went with this OG Bullnose uh, apron profile. You see this? So it's got a cool little detail on the edge of the apron. Looks very nice at the corners, you know, um, where it gives you that extra little indentation that just looks really cool. So again, this is, let me show you a close up of this here. This is a, a quartz that looks like a, um, like a marble, very white background and then has some really nice uh, brown and gray veins to it. Uh, of course, I showed you the Super Susan already. We got the trash over here. That's your trash and recycle. We got your spice over here. This is a six inch spice in a nine inch cabinet. So very helpful for organizing all your, all your stuff. And then over here, we got, you know, your big base three bank cabinets that has, uh, you know, all your pots and pans. Very nice. And then we got the four drawers over here. This is really good for like your, your sandwich bags, your tin foil, all that stuff. Yep. And that's what she's got in there. So that's, that's really cool. So even though it's, you know, not a huge space, it's still very functional. Another thing we did to make room for this, uh, this wall of cabinets. Now, remember we had to uh, close in that, that slider, but we also had to reduce the size of this wall. This wall actually came out like another foot or foot and a half. Uh, we had a surprise there when we opened it up, that it was actually load bearing. We had to put another beam in. It was a whole, it was a whole thing, but we got it done. And now we have a beautiful entrance to the space and you got a really nice, the whole reason was, you know, trying to, if this wall was over here, obviously this corner and this corner, you know, you're making this, this pathway really small. Uh, you want to have at least 34 to 38 inches. I like to leave 40, 42 if I can get away with it, but you want to have at least three feet as your, as your walkway between two areas. Lastly, I want to talk about the floor. This uh, floor came out really nice. Actually, let me see if I can get a better shot of it. Yeah, this floor turned out really nice. This is a, waterproof laminate that looks like wood. And it really looks like wood. Goes great with the blue cabinets and the white countertop and just the whole design. It really just grounds it in that warmth. Just everything goes together really good. All right, so that is the, our latest kitchen remodel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.
keep going. Um, hmm, let me see. Uh, these are those uh, commercial style, you know, with the with the springy stuff on it. Um, um, and, uh, or I think it was a bay window. I don't know, look at the before photos. We had a, uh, a larger slider in here. Let me see, actually, hold on a second. Can you see that side? No. And works very good. The sliding mechanism, whoa, too good. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's it. Just as a slider, all right? Uh, I don't know what else I'm talking about.